Lee McGregor, how are yeah. you, sir? I'm good, I'm good. Uh, all the hard work's done now. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to fight on Saturday, I can't wait. We're there now, eh? All, all the 13, 14 weeks, gruelling hard training, it's, it's all done. Um, we're, we're weigh-ins tomorrow, fight night Friday, right around the corner. So I'm, I'm just excited. I've, I've prepared my body I've, I've so hard, I've put it through hell. And I'm, I'm ready for whatever he brings on Saturday night. Yeah, hundred percent. I've said it as as a young kid. Um, obviously, I I want to win, be British Commonwealth champion, all all the rest of it. But as a kid, I dreamed and used to watch British title fights. And my dad, me and my dad used to say, oh, especially my dad used to, say, I want you to win that British title, son. And I always remember that it wasn't the Commonwealth title that he was saying. It was the British title. It's, it's so prestigious that belt and. There's just simply no way that I'm accepting defeat, and I'm I'm not bringing that belt back with me on Saturday. I'm just I'm ready to go as deep as you could possibly go to bring that belt back home with me on Saturday night. There's just simply no way that I'm I'm accepting defeat for this fight. Of course, 100%. Obviously, Edinburgh v Glasgow, it's the, the wee slight derby and all that. Uh, but it's the most important thing is that me and Cash get home safe and well to our families, but. I genuinely do think that we are really going to put on a very, very exciting fight and the crowd are really going to love it. I think our styles are going to gel so well. It's just um, we'll both have game plans, so whoever can stick to their game plan and execute. And I think that's why everyone's so intrigued for that first bell to go, because no one knows what's going to happen. Um, these are the fights you want to be involved in as a fighter. If you're a fighter and you don't want to be involved in fights like this, you're in the wrong game. It's simple as that. I've... I'm loving being a part of this and I, I don't want this to stop so I want to keep going, I want to keep pushing on and I want to move on to bigger and better things. Yeah, I've got again, the British Bantamweight champion Cash Brick. Good to see you again, buddy. How are you? I'm good, and I'm good. I'm ready to go, mate. You ready to go. You've always uh, got a smile on your face, which is good to see. I mean, you've just come face to face with Lee. No, that's right. Uh, two days out from the fight, does it feel more real now that the fight is getting closer? Are you in the fight mode now? No, I'm in fight mode. I've been in fight mode since fight week, and I'm, you know, I'm 100% confident, focused, I'm ready to go. To be honest, I can fight tomorrow. If the fight was tomorrow, obviously the win's tomorrow, but you know, and uh, I'm ready to go. Oh, for me, that we just said it's 100% with the top dog in uh, in Scotland, and uh, you know, it's, there's no, it's not enough room for being the top. You know, I mean, you need always one person to be at top, and I want to be that person. And uh, you know, same as McGregor, he wants to be the top as well. And this is the reason the fight's here, and this is it's all about bragging rights. Who's the best in Scotland? No in Britain, in Scotland. You know, I mean, because it's towards the same weight, and uh, both of us want to win. And I'm very, very confident to the job on Saturday night. Really, to be honest, I've, blo I've blocked everything out. You know, I've not been on my social media for the last few months, you know, and uh, I've just been focused on training, waking up, going to gym, and that's it. You know, and uh, that's all I've been doing the last few months. I've trained my mind, body, you know, and I'm physically and mentally ready for this fight. And, you know, I'm willing to go through hell to win this fight, no matter what. You know, so I'm not looking at anything. I'm just looking at McGregor right now. I don't care about what's ahead of me after this fight. You know, I'd obviously, what wins this fight, the way I see it, it's a... Uh, Life changing mo it's a life changing moment for them. You know, I don't know. You obviously, they're going to European world, but I'm not looking at that. I'm looking at, I want to win this fight. You know, I don't care where I go from there after this. You know, I want to win this fight, and that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it, our main event for tomorrow night 12 rounds in the unification bout for the British and Commonwealth Bouton Week title. Baruch versus McGregor. Live on ESPN Plus and IFL TV from the Glasgow Emirates Arena. Cash from here. Cash from here. Cash from here. fighter this little man has developed into. He was uh, one of Scotland's best kept secrets but the secret is out and there are shades of Alex Arthur against Willie Limmons who fought just uh, down the road at the Brayhead Arena 15 years ago in a battle of the unbeatens with the British title up for grabs. Ladies and gentlemen this is the moment you've all been waiting for. This is the main event of the evening! 12 rounds in a unification bout for 
the British and Commonwealth Bantamweight titles. This contest is sanctioned by the British Boxing Board of Control and our official ringside are Chief Inspectors Charlie Clark and Neil McLean. Your three judges scoring ringside are John Latham, Phil Edwards and Mark Lyson. Your referee in charge of the action when the bell goes, Victor Lachlan and your timekeeper, Jim Kirkwood. And now, to those watching on ESPN Plus and IFL TV, and to you in attendance in the Glasgow Emirates Arena, ladies and gentlemen, it's about to go down. Doesn't mean the end for the losers we've talked about historically in this kind of matchup. Far, far from it. So good to see this kind of contest being put on and I just wonder what are they going to be the deciding factors in this one well the physical size of McGregor's one the obvious sign can he can he impose that on Farouk and also Farouk's upper body movement which is fantastic when he's slipping sliding coming forward he's a very hard target to hit clean can McGregor stop that and, and bubbling oh, that's the a crowd are getting into it already buddy yeah, nice little right hand there from McGregor. Not much weight behind it, but again, because he got that longer reach, Farouk's making it usually would make you miss just a little extension of the of the shot there from McGregor. See when he slips inside there, Farouk. Maybe through their fingers and uh, fingers crossed too as we go through the first couple of rounds. Nice little right hand there from Farouk. Just remember when he's he got to slip inside the shot and not remember this. To sit too much on that back foot for Rube when, when he tries to make McGregor miss. And the, and there, oh, you can see it. just a couple of times you can just see the uh, the strength of McGregor. Good right hand from Farouk. Is he maybe now just starting to find the range? And a left hook as well there. Oh, good response to there from McGregor. And that was the big single shot right hand that Grant Smith was asking for in between rounds. He's starting to boil up nicely. Just got to get a bit lower when he's rolling here for Rube. Right hand Good working shot. well for McGregor. Oh, oh lovely. Big left hand. Farouk getting through with a couple of big shots. Again, he got low, didn't he? Just dipped the legs and exploded that lovely left hook there, Farouk. I'll make this point. He says that boxing is his life. He doesn't do or have anything else. Not interested in girlfriends. Boxing is his thing. Making McGregor miss there, quite comfortable there for Root, but he got to come back with a shot. Nice little left hook there from McGregor. Yeah, McGregor had the, the good start to the round. The right hand was working well, but you know, the, the punches you remember, that, that big left hook and the follow-up from Farouk. McGregor's hand's just a little low. Nice little right hand one there from Farouk there. Oh, good shot there from McGregor. Yeah, it's a tip for tat, and he's being held with one hand. Farouk, he's punching with the other as he's entitled to do. He... And they've been thinking about it for a long time. They've been planning for this fight for at least two years. And I'm and I'm sure it's been exactly. Oh, good shot. I'm sure it's been exactly the same over down in Sheffield as well, where McGregor trains. Indeed, spending his whole camps down there, the Steel City gym with Grant Smith, Dalton, his son, who's in the, the, the corner tonight, part of the entourage, of course, uh, Chris and Sonny yeah. Edwards, I can see Sonny rings. Victor Lachlan, who was uh, involved in that Lomachenko-Campbell fight, he refereed that one recently, he has ref both of these men, uh, I think, in their respective performances oh, against shot. Allen. Lovely another, left hook. Another left hand, Barry, yes from Farouk, that's the punch that's working for him. And a dark of work. Both trying to oh, double, oh, nice shot chance. right hand there from Farouk. The, the telling punches, single shots seem to be coming from Farouk. Don't think McGregor's been that solid jab to the chest. Just stops the movement straight away. A oh, good shot from McGregor. But with a shorter fight, that's so much more difficult. And a fighter who stays low like, like, like Farouk, 
That makes it really, really hard to stop that movement. I mentioned that boxing is pretty much for Rooks. Uh, Life McGregor, of course, got a little one now. Maddie come into his, his life several months ago. Surely, at the, this this sort of range is exactly where Farouk wants the fight to be played. Yeah, oh, good body, body shot from him! Yeah. Oh, right hand there from Farouk as well. And look at it. And although there's there's not loads between the them in these exchanges, Barry, you fancy it's maybe Farouk's tactics that are coming to bear early on. But well, McGregor's new. He's, got, he's throwing the right punches, he just can't get the clean enough connection on the shots. Fruits just riding the punches. Oh, there's a cut. There's just a little sm a smudge of a, a cut under the right eye of Farouk. I think the, the quality punches, not loads of them, but the quality punches, you remember, have come from Farouk. But then McGregor's landed plenty of those right hands too. And while Farouk's mother and father we watching from home his brother Shan is, is always ringside supporting could have uh, probably moving there from McGregor this time and you always fancy there's going to be little changes in the play and the on oh, the plot most yeah most definitely so when you've got when you've got two guys of this quality so early on in the career Maybe he was a, a bit leaner in the face than oh. normal. Good work here from Farouk. Back comes McGregor. <laughs> Looks like Farouk just starting to brim with a bit of confidence. Again, he dabs at that cut. <laughs> Tell you what, it's going to be a hard second half of the fight. <laughs> been a great story for Uk. He, he born and, and brought up in, in Lahore in, in Pakistan. He came here when he was, when he was six, not knowing anyone. And he, he found boxing. But when he first went to the gym, he, he had to take two different buses. Took him an hour and a quarter to get there. But he kept at it, stuck at it, kept making those journeys. Such was his desire. And here you can see the fruit of it. That's good work here from Farouk. Just before this good assault, McGregor landed a nice little one too, but then sort of a... Oh, good right hand there from McGregor. Second half of the fight. That's nice there from McGregor. Nice little fast combo. He did well there, McGregor, and then just unnecessarily clipped with a, a couple of shots on the way out. Well, you, when you go to your right, you've got to walk up when you're an orthodox fighter, so you've got to pivot on the front foot to the left. And what Farouk does is close the distance pretty well. right hand there from Farouk oh, and again and another one yes nice uppercut though there from from McGregor on the ropes just a little welt under the left eye of McGregor now oh good quality shot anytime he gets close Farouk and McGregor puts his hand on, on his head Bangs away at that body. Again, for leaping into that jab and uh, more shots getting forward. He's, he's just starting to, to force the issue now. He's just starting to ask questions of McGregor in this round. But again, like, like the third round, McGregor had a good start to the round, but Farouk has worked his way into it now.
Oh, fantastic left hook to the body. Back comes McGregor, and that's the thing that's making it perhaps difficult to, to score. Oh, a huge hook. left hand again from Farouk. And as hard as McGregor is fighting, and as, as much as he is landing shots of his own, all, all the big shots you remember are coming from Farouk. Even if they're just one or two of them in a round. Yes. That's good from McGregor. Yeah. To, to evade most of those shots. Oh, good right hand to the chin there from McGregor. And a lovely shot. Yeah, fantastic uppercut. He picked that beautifully, McGregor. And from distance, and again. he's starting to put his shots together. And again, three uppercuts in succession from McGregor. Getting through with the right hand. Fantastic stuff. Just the sort of foothold, perhaps, that in as close as it has been in the trenches. Just the sort of stuff and, and response McGregor perhaps needed. Missing with there, McGregor just took just took the wind off his sails. It with there, missing with those shots. Just got to push push through back and throw that uppercut again. And Farouk's got to get close and keep turning, McGregor. Well, in any of these big fights, that sometimes it comes down to more than just skill, and, and sometimes you you just have to push or drag that out of yourselves. And that's what McGregor's doing right now. A little bit of blood maybe from the nose of McGregor the jab there from McGregor as well it's his best round of the, the fight so far oh, look at this though from Farouk lovely body shot to start that three punch assault oh. Oh, huge left hand but back comes McGregor again with another uppercut been his punch of this round and again oh. good body shot there from Farouk and suddenly now it's McGregor playing the Matador interesting change in the play in this round comes Farouk. What a round. i tell you what, McGregor's put a lot oh. into this. He, he's getting his reward, but he's put an awful lot into this. Oh, look, left hook there from Farouk. Fantastic. And McGregor just looks a bit weary. Put a lot into this round, hasn't he? Understandably. No one, each fighter won't allow the other one to be dominant, even if they're winning. And that just boils down to, to pure ambition and, and desire and belief in yourself. Oh, good shot, lovely right hand. Little faint aid for that one too there from McGregor. It was one of those rounds, Barry, you, you, you just wonder, do, you know, despite winning on the cards, who, who, for McGregor, did it take more out of him? We shall see. There's going to be a play or two still to come in this one as we head down the stretch. Nice little short right hand there, second to go there from McGregor. Oh, shot right hand, yeah. he just that's, winced at that Farouk. That's the response he needed there, McGregor, lovely shot. And again, there he goes. Not so elusive with the shoulder roll now, Farouk. And the right hand and the uppercut working well for McGregor. Good response from him. Still that little trickle of blood from the nose of McGregor. He's had to oh, contend with that. Farouk great. letting away the, the power punches now. Great little work there from Farouk, and then McGregor come back with his own little body shot. Farouk going to the little body pit, again. A little pit bull, isn't he? Yeah. Here, Farouk. He's got a little cut on the left eye now as well, uh, Barry Farouk. A little cut on the, the eyelid. Oh, body shot goes in again from Farouk. Oh, nice little short right hand there. But then it's one straight back there from Farouk. Good nice response there from, from McGregor. McGregor, yes, he not not landing with much purchase or, or power with those shots, but scoring nonetheless. He's just a, oh, that cut's got worse. Slash across. Wonder how they feel the fight is going. The pay it off them. 
Oh, that's good then. McGregor missed with that jab and a good right to the body there from Farouk. And again. Yeah, another body shot. Oh, and he's just uh, winging away to the a couple of those big left oh, hands. Lovely. Farouk just getting a little bit frustrated when they're clinching. Oh, oh lovely shot. Huge shot, wasn't it, Barry? Left hand up from McGregor. Yeah, that cut is, is in a nasty spot. It's right across the left eyelid. Oh. oh just a bit un unfortunate for Rook. Uh, Bundle, it's just an accident. I, I don't think Do you know was... what? I, to be fair, I know, I know it was McGregor going forward. I think Farouk had him on the neck, to be, to be honest. Yeah, a few boos and howls, but... But then a lovely hook. Yeah, a couple of lovely shots there from McGregor on the back foot. And for the first time, he managed to, to get out of being trapped on the ropes. You can see how much... Listen, they both want it. You see how much Farouk, he's dabbing away at that cut, but he still wants to come forward. They're taking a few shots here. And McGregor's back to the ropes, standing some nice little punches. Oh, Again. lovely little up, uppercut from the south pole stands from McGregor. Farouk just got to be careful now, he just doesn't ball, ball forward, you know, with no intelligence. Like, he, earlier on, it was all head movement, he was clever with his attacks. Now he's just getting a little bit one-dimensional with his attacks, and McGregor times up with an uppercut. Good shot there from McGregor. Yeah, fantastic little three-punch combination from McGregor. He's starting to buy himself some spaces. The tempo just begun, the pace just maybe starting to lilt. Who's that going to help more? So strong, isn't he, Farouk? Doesn't look it physically, does he? But like a ball. Well, I, I must admit, I have it. When we saw him before, Farouk, you know, it's just his, his technique and his talent and his foot movement and the way he glides round effortlessly round the ring. I don't necessarily expect this sort of front foot aggression from him, but against the, the taller, long levers of, of McGregor, maybe that's exactly what he yeah. needed to do. But I'll tell you what, Barry, McGregor's boxed yeah, well off the back I through this he, round. I think he has in this round. For me, I think the fact that the fact that Fruits be coming forward in straight lines. Oh no. 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 Well He has been warning him, to be fair, but it's a nightmare for him all the time. Just, you just don't want to see something like that affecting a fight like this. That that's the only thing. Referee's oh, gonna do his job. Huge shot from McGregor, who was winning that round, let's not forget. Oh, lovely left hook there from McGregor. Great round. Oh. Oh, body shot there from Farouk. Yeah. Lovely right to the body. And McGregor fires back. You have a go, I'll have a go. <laughs> I think McGregor's still winning the rounds. Oh, oh. What a fantastic fight. Not a, no worries about their chins, is it? No. That's for sure. Gut check, chin check. Huge seventh, didn't he, buddy? Oh, he's right. just had that, that massive tenth as well, but unfortunately the sting in the tail with the, the deducted pot. He really has tried so hard in the second half of the fight. But also you can't remember, you can't forget about all these body shots for us. They're all scoring, they're not just winning, they're all scoring shots. Oh, they've both been terrific. Nice, lovely, good work. Again, Fruit's got that knack of just taking the sting out of the shots, hasn't he? Yeah, just a little dare change of a body angle to diffuse the firework. A little punch on the break from for a couple of heavy body shots from him. <laughs> a little bit low there. Well, no one, no one bothered about the slight lull in the action. Oh, 
we said before this fight in the introductions that he'd had shakes of Alex Arthur, Willie Lemon, Willie Lemon stopped in eight that night. Arthur went on to become a world champion. Lemon still bounced back to become a British and a two-way Commonwealth champion as well. And mentioned, of course, Groves and, and De Gale who went at it so early on, similarly in their career, and both went on to become world champions too. For the loser, this is far from the end. And who knows, Barry, it might just be the, the start of a, a trilogy maybe over the yeah, next decade or so. You want to see this again? Big hug. Kisses for each other. Now they're going to go after each other once again in the 12th and final round. It has not disappointed. Farouk's corner think he's in front. Barry agrees. Good job there. Cooked really well. Shots oh. from Farouk. Yeah, nice right hand getting through from Farouk again. He's He's blinking through the blood. Oh, nice from McGregor. Oh, big right hand, McGregor. Might have caught him off balance. Oh, good shot there from McGregor. Another big one. McGregor, you fancy needs something big in this final round. Trying to produce it. <laughs> He's got to uh, craft and guile and, and art, this little fella. Yes, yeah, he's going to need it as well for the first time for me. He looks, he looks the tired of the two here, for Farouk. Well, they put so much into it, and he's been bleeding for more than half the fight. Oh, nice there from McGregor. Left it to the body, right hand over the top. Farouk needs a little bit of a, an assault here. And a, oh, good shot. Just when they need it, they come up with the goods. It's, it's, it's been a great response from McGregor, hasn't it? Do you know, I think that... And Farouk there as well, there. Yeah, both of them, they've been terrific. Do you think... Was the damage done in the first half of the fight for Possibly. McGregor? Seconds to go then. He needs a, re a he needs a massive finish here for Rupert. This has been a, a good round for McGregor. Yeah, Mc McGregor's had a, a really good run down the stretch. Big seven, huge tenth as well. Oh, trading left hooks in the closing seconds. Fantastic fight. They both think they've done enough. Both celebrate. Cornermen have them above their shoulders. They were friends before and they remain friends afterwards, whatever the judge's decision is. And I can see that Lonsdale belt over there, the Commonwealth belt as well. Who goes home? with the pair of them. Let's find out now, after a compelling contest, let's find out with TK. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just witnessed 12 outstanding rounds of boxing. Please show your appreciation for both these warriors. After 12 rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge John Latham scores about 114 to 113, Farouk. Judge Phil Edwards scores the bout 114 to 113, McGregor. And Judge Mark Lyson scores the bout 115 to 112 in favor of your winner by split decision victory. And now he is the new unified British and Commonwealth Bantamweight champion, Lee McGregor. McGregor it is who celebrates as the champion of the Commonwealth and indeed of Britain. It's the coach loads who've come down the M8 from Edinburgh who celebrate. Obviously McGregor, uh, mate, watching that from ringside, man, I enjoyed every single second of it. Did you enjoy it? Oh, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Um, hard, grueling fight, it really was. Um, I felt like I had a good start. Middle rounds, kind of let him do his tippy-tappy movement, working, working hard. And then I had a, felt like I had a very good, strong finish, and obviously it won me the fight. So I'm just, I'm, I'm so happy. So I would, but um, it's just it's up to my team. Mm -hmm. um, if it was up to me, I would fight him again next week, or I would, I would enough. If it was up to me, I would have done 15 rounds there. But um, 
just need to be just leave it to my team mm -hmm. leave it to my team I've won the fight I'm British champion now um, just need to just need to sit down I need to go away sit down with my team and, and see what's next remember I've had 8 fights and, you're and I'm 22 titles. and I'm British Commonwealth and obviously the IBF belt as well so um, yeah well, what yeah, happens what do we do what do we do like you, keep said going you, or you mentioned the European. You mentioned the European. Yeah, Are you ready yeah. for that? Well, you're nine, nine, I oh, feel like I could win the European title now. Yeah, but it's like, what do I do next? What do I do after that? Like, do you do, it's, it's hard. That's what. That's why we've got teams. Mm. That's why I've got my trainer. That's why you know. That's why we've got we've, we've got teams so so they can decide that for me. It's not it's not up to me how. If it was up to me, I would be saying get me a world title shot. Do you know what I mean? But it's, that's what I'll be like. You know, it's, it's no. It's it's come on. It's it's about being sensible and. And then leaving that, leaving that to my team. So whatever they say, I'll, I'll prepare and, and I'll be ready. I, I think I've showed it that I'm, I'm fearless. I'm, I'm no, you certainly I'll, have. I'll fight anybody, absolutely anybody. The one that was definitely hurting him when, the, when the shots were getting landed. All his shots were, tippy tappy, the, the body, good head movement and that. Um, but I was the one that was landing the big clean shots. Um, a strong, obviously a strong finish in that as well. So. Um, but yeah, um, I, f I feel like I, d I can't remember, like you said, what round it was, but I did I hit him on the cut, I think, and he, he definitely did feel it in an R3, but a good, good fighter, very, very clever. His head movement and that is really good, and he's improved. He's improved a lot because obviously we we mentioned a lot of people knew we had, had the sparring and that mm. beforehand, and uh, and obviously I'm sh I don't know if they would or not, but I think we can we can agree the sparring. It was it was me. I felt like that was really on top in the sparring and. And um, and sort of kind of could take it, be very confident going into that fight. Uh, but I tell you what, he's, he's improved a lot. Um, that was that was a hard, grueling fight. Um, but yeah, just um, so so yeah, happy. Yeah, but